Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make drop-down reaction rule menus. Let's get right into it. Now, this was not found by me. This was found by another U another Discord YouTuber who has over 100 subscribers. His link will be down in the description down below. First thing you want to go ahead and do is add the Sapphire bot to your server. This link will be also be down in the description down below. And you want to just go ahead and add that bot to your server. So once it's in your server, you should have a dashboard just like this. You also should have react action roles already created on your discord server and also make sure that the bot role the sapphire bot role is above the, all the roles that you want to add in the reaction role drop down menu once you're here don't press this reaction roles you do not want to press this one instead go to this messages panel and once you're here this thing can just shut its mouth and then we can do a little something like update the roles or something like that and press create and once you do that you can click on it and we can go to go to edit and then go to raw you want to go ahead and delete all this then you want to go ahead and copy the pinned comment and once you do that go ahead and paste it inside and now when you go to visual you should see something like this you can edit this message if you would like to so like instead of user we can do something like seed discord rolls updated and then like an exclamation point at the end. <laughs> and then once you're done editing everything you want to, I suggest not editing these things right here. Don't edit those. Go ahead and press save changes and go ahead and exit out of this. So now once you're done with that, go ahead and go scroll all the way down to where it says components. Ah, uh, gosh, I don't know why you showed these things. I got it, okay? <laughs> I know what I'm doing. So then you can go ahead and go here and select and do like color, like, I don't know, seed rolls. There we go. And then press create. Now once you do that, you want to go ahead and click on it. And then you could, you have the option to add options. So you can go ahead and add an option and we'll name this developer. Underneath this, you'll see no actions added. Go ahead and press this plus button and you find where it says add roles. So right here. And then you can, it'll bring up a new thing where you can go ahead and press another plus button and add a role to them. So the developer role. And there we go. Uh, you now have that. And then we can go ahead and add the mod role uh, obviously you wouldn't i want to add a mod role actually to to them if, in your server and then another thing what's what's cool with this is that that you can do is you can go ahead and press add option you can do like something like both and you can add like both of them so add this and add the mod there we go you want to go ahead and press this add button and you want to go into remove roles now you want if, if for the roles you want to remove you want to remove every other role that is not being used for the add so like for example in here we want to do remove the mod one uh and here we want to remove the roles we want to remove the developer one and in both we can just leave that because we're giving them both so press save changes last one we need to go ahead and do this again Again. So go ahead and press this pl plus button, but instead of doing anything with rules, click send message. And then you want to make it inferior because we don't want it to see be seen only. We don't want it to only be seen by the user. And then go ahead and select the template. Template. We're gonna do update roles and just go ahead and do this for every single one of your roles and once you're done go ahead and press save changes and then once you're done you can go ahead and exit out of it now go back to the messages panel i promise this this is all going to be worth it again the person who found this was not me his link will be down in the description so now we're going to do roll message in like the templates area and you can go ahead and create that and now you want to go ahead and click on it you go ahead and press edit you can go ahead and delete all this and then press embed and now just make your own embed for these roles so like we'll just name it drop down roles drop down roles how about that okay and now you can add some fields if you want to i'm not gonna add those you can add a footer so let's just say like buy me and now when you go to preview uh, you can see that you have your discord embed message so then you want to go ahead and select action row go and press select menu now once you do that you uh, can go and type in placeholder and we can type in we can do select your roles there we go we can we can do that and then go ahead and press the settings little button here and then just go ahead and select the drop down menu and press seed rules update update action that you created earlier then in option one go ahead and do developer and go ahead and hit the settings action and then action do the developer one option two 
we can do mod, and then the action, we can do mod. And then same thing with the last one, we can do both action and both. Now, it, it, this is optional, but you can add a description if you would like, and then you can add an emoji. Now, once you're done with all that, go ahead and press save changes. And now, once you go back in and you go to the preview, as you can see, there's a drop down menu and it has all your stuff in it. And now, all you want to go ahead and do to send that message is uh, click on your message thing, template, go to use, and then go to where, to where it says click here to select a channel. So you just want to select the channel you want this in. So I'm just going to send it in server manager. Finally, you can press send message and it says message sent. Now let's go back to discord. And as you can see, we now have a nice new message with a drop down menu. Now, if you select this menu, you will get all of these options that you can get. So if we do developer, if we go ahead in here, as you can see, I already had the developer, but like if we go ahead and select like maybe the mod or something, but there we go. We, can, we have the, we now have the mod role and it removed the de developer role and we can go ahead and do like both. So if we do both, we have both of them. Boom. Haha. <laughs> and there you go. That is how you do drop down reaction role menus. That's going to be it for the video guys. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, go subscribe to the person who found this link in the description and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.